Hey and welcome to this tutorial. This time I'm showing you how to create a drop-down menu with the help of JetMenu plugin. First of all, you'll need to install and activate JetMenu plugin. Then go to Appearance, Menus and create a new menu. Or you can also work with the existing menu, but I'm gonna create a new one. Press Create Menu. I will assign it to the main location and be sure to enable jet menu for current location and press save. Now fill up your menu with the pages, posts or custom links that you want to be displayed in your menu and press save. So now what we're going to do is build the structure of our menu. Let's say I want the item services to be a parent to some other items. So if I want certain items to become the children of some other item, all I need to do is to grab the item and drag it a little bit to the right of the parent item and it becomes a sub item. So I've added four sub items to the item services but I can also add sub-items to the sub-items. And in this case, I want the portfolio item to have two sub-items, just like that. Let's press Save. And with the help of Jet Menu plugin, you can also assign icons and badges to your menu items. When you hover over the menu item, you're going to see this button, click on it, and it takes you to this window where you have several tabs. You need to go to Icon tab. Choose the icon that you want to assign to your menu item. Choose the color. And then go to Badges. Type in the text that you want to be displayed on your badge. Choose the text color. And choose the color for the badge itself and then press save. Close the window and repeat the process for all the items that you want to have icons and badges. So here we go and I am ready to go and have a look at this menu on my homepage. So here we go. This is our menu and this item has the drop down and some sub items. You see the badge that we have assigned and you see that other items also have badges or they might not have badges. And so this is how easy and fast the process really is. You can access some more styling options if you go to Jet Menu Settings. And go to the tab called Sub Menu Styles. And here you're going to find a whole lot of style settings and some other settings that let you tweak and customize your menu just the way you like. As you see, you can also change the behavior of your menu, so it reacts to the actions of the user differently. But if you are using Elementor Pro or a Jet Theme Core plugin, you'll be able to add the menu to your heading with the help of Elementor Page Builder. To do that, all you need to do is to go to Elements, scroll down and find the Mega Menu widget. Drag it onto a new section and select the menu that you want to be displayed. Now press Update and reload the page. And you're going to see that the styling is now applied to your menu. And what's great about this way of styling your menu is that now you have all the styling settings right here and you can style your menu live in real time, seeing all the changes on your Elementor editor. 
just go to the submenu tab and you're gonna see all the settings that you need to style and customize your drop down menu. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave us your thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching!